Hi, my name is Alicia and I'm a freshman here at Duke University. Today I'll be asking different undergraduates about their Duke experience. Let's go! Nice to meet you. What is your name and what grade are you? And what are you majoring in? Hi, my name is Jun Young. I'm a current freshman and I'm majoring in economics with a finance concentration. So my name is Farzine. I'm a junior at Duke and I'm studying computer science. I'm an international student from Pakistan. My name is Michael. I'm a sophomore and I study biomedical engineering and computer science and I'm also pre-med. My name is Farhan Rahim. I'm a first year student at Duke and I'm studying chemistry on the pre-med track. I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. My name is Charlotte. I am a freshman at Duke and I'm studying mechanical engineering. I'm from Westchester, New York. Why did you choose Duke University? So I'm from both Toronto, Canada and South Korea and I chose Duke because of the people primarily. Out of all the universities, the people at Duke, the community was just amazing and everything I heard about it, it just sounded like a lot of fun. So I chose Duke. I think it was my applied early decision here and then I got in so it was kind of binding so I had to come here but originally the plan was because my family lives close by mm. so my highest shot was like okay since I live in Washington DC I was like okay it's only four to five hours away by road so let's just choose Duke. I'd never visited the campus before I didn't have any idea how big it is or something I just applied. Yeah. I think Duke was just the best school in terms of balancing social life and academics. Academics are really strong here, but I think the social scene's as good, if not better, than some public schools even. Um, we have a really vibrant social scene, a lot of parties and things like that, and also our basketball team is really, really hype, and everyone loves going to the game, and there's just a lot of school spirit. So I knew I wanted to come to Duke since like sophomore year, just because I knew that the academics at Duke were really good, you know, like, they have one of the best chemistry programs, which is what I knew I wanted to study, and also they're excellent for pre-med, you know, like all pre-med students have access to great resources. On top of that, I really like the social atmosphere at Duke, you know, like all those students are working really hard. Mm -hmm. I think there's also a really big work hard, play hard sort of environment. So students work hard, but also they like to have fun. And I think that whole dynamics is what brought me here to Duke. So when I was looking for colleges, I was really looking for a good engineering program combined with good dance and just a good school spirit people type deal. So. Of course, Duke has a great engineering and dance program. They just opened a new dance building called Urban Sign, which is absolutely gorgeous. When I visited, everybody here was so nice and friendly and outgoing, mm -hmm. and I just loved every single person I talked to. And I think that was the catch that drew me in. <laughs> How do you feel about the professors at Duke? I think the professors at Duke are phenomenal. I think most of the professors I have are just so caring and they really do care about their students. In fact, I like two of them so much that I decided to flunch them, which is a faculty lunch where you invite them to lunch and you're able to talk to them. Honestly, I have not had much problems with professors, part of me. Oh, I love my faculty, especially languages classes. And I've found that I've more meaningful relationship with my humanities professors than STEM professors. Academic wise, I, I love all the faculty. I didn't really have a problem with any professor. I think all the faculty here are really good. I've always cold emailed professors to get into research and they've all been very receptive. I think I've gotten research opportunities with pretty much every professor I've ever emailed. Other than that, I think during classes, they're generally really good at teaching um, and very approachable as well. Like they always stay around after class. You can go approach them and talk to them if you don't understand something or if you just need to talk to them. Also, there's a program called Flunch where uh, you can bring a faculty to lunch and just talk to them more, get to know them on a personal level, and it's really nice to do that. So I went to visit professional advisor a few weeks ago, and they're a lot of help, I think, definitely. You know, like when I was organizing my schedule in terms of what chemistry to take, they provided a lot of guidance and they showed me the websites of different med schools that I'll be applying to in the future. And, you know, I was able to take courses based on what my medical schools later on would require. So yeah, I think overall they provided some good guidance. Faculty is great. Everything about Duke is great. They're so friendly, always available to help. I feel like they really understand education. I mean, of course, they're university professors, but they are very understanding of ourselves and our schedule and our time. And they want us not only to learn their course material, but to be a better person and better student as a whole, which is something new to me because I didn't get that in high school at all. So.
very, very exciting. So you're a mechanical engineer? Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about the engineering department? The engineering department, I have to say, I do quite intense, but it's all worth it. We're taking a first year engineering design course called EGR 101. It's this awesome, awesome class where we learn about the engineering design process by doing a project. So we have a team, we have a client, we interview them, understand the problem, develop design criteria, and then we prototype and build a solution. And we're in the prototyping stage right now. Engineering is a blast, honestly. Yes, I love it so much. Yes, can you tell us a little more about what Focus is? Oh, I applied to be in a Focus program before I book bagged or enrolled in the rest of my classes. So I knew those two classes ahead of time. And basically what Focus is, it's a group of about usually 20 to 30 students. And there's four options of classes and you take two out of your four classes in a semester. In your first semester, your freshman year are gonna be Focus. And basically you're going to be taking courses based on one particular subject for me that subject is global health other mm -hmm. subjects are like knowledge in the service of society or genetics and genomics and oh. basically you just get to know the students in your focus a lot and you get to know the professors really well because every wednesday for us we have dinner with all the professors and all the students in our focus so basically it just fosters a community at Duke and it eases the transition from high school to college. What extracurriculars are you involved in mainly on campus? On campus, right now I'm a treasurer of Pakistani Student Association. We found it two years ago. So mainly doing that, just looking at the money aspect of organization, coming out with events, asking people to come and like eat food with us. Apart from that, I usually enjoy time for myself. Like I watch documentaries and movies so and cool. stuff. The only extracurricular is just this. And then I have to recruit as well. I'm a junior yeah. in the comm side. So recruiting classes and then the Park Sunnies Club, I think that that's just more than enough for me. So currently I was elected Senator of Campus Life for Duke Student Government. I'm also an investment analyst for Duke Impact Investing Group. And then along the side, I have like some fun activities. Like for example, I'm doing Spoon University, which is just like a food blog type of thing. So I'm really trying to just get as involved in the school and also do like my own interest as well. One big commitment I am a part of is street med, shirt I'm wearing. It's a dance group on campus. I kind of did it on a whim and been doing it for about a year and a half now and it's been really fun. Um, other than that, I do a lot of research. I initially did some wet lab research and now I'm more into machine learning, computer science research. Uh, other than that, I play a lot of spike ball around campus, play frisbee. Um, I'm involved in some Christian groups on campus. So one thing that I'm involved in is I applied through Muser, which is a website where professors list all their research positions. So I applied through Muser for a few research positions and now I'm doing research with a pediatric neurologist at Duke Children's Hospital. And also I'm in an organization called Globe Med in which we're gonna fundraise for global health initiatives for Kenya and just organizations like that. It's lots of fundraising stuff, so. I'm involved in a dance company. It's called Momentum Dance Company and we dance like twice, three times a week. We just had our first performance last night for Homecoming and it was so much fun, especially because all my friends got to watch me dance, which is the first time it's happened. Oh. So much fun. How would you describe the social life at Duke University? I also think the social life at Duke University is great. It was everything that I expected to be and maybe surpassed it a little bit when I was applying to Duke. As I said, I applied to Duke because of the people and the people really have not disappointed me. I think the social scene is very vibrant. Um, there's something for everyone. So if you're the type that likes to go party, there's parties for you to go to. If you don't necessarily like partying and you like just staying in and playing ping pong pool, there's pretty much a ping pong table and a pool table in every dorm. And uh, my dorm has massage chairs actually, so I like to relax there, um, hang with friends and I don't know, play board games or go play some sports or watch a movie. A1, A1 social life. Everyone is always down for a good time, which I love. People work hard, but they definitely, definitely play hard and it's so much fun. We have a blast. For your common application essay when you were applying, what did you write about? So for my common application essay, I just really wanted to seem very approachable and most of the people who read it, well actually like all of the people who read it did find it funny. Like I inserted my humor in there and I just tried to add my own taste to it. And really all I wrote about was just like the timpani. Cause I used to play the timpani for high school orchestra. And so I just wrote about these funny experiences learning from an Asian teacher who had a very Asian accent. It turned out to be a pretty funny essay and it got me here. My common app essay was quite serious. It was about how Pakistanis, especially some families tend to marry their kids in the same cast as in the same pool of you can say genes maybe yeah. not not cousins but uh, we have like different caste systems they are recognized by their historical ties and everything 
So my comment I've asked was how this is promoting so much bad genetic pool back home. My sister is Down syndrome and there are also other genetic flaws that I've come across in Pakistan just because of intermarriage. So my whole essay was about that. I wrote about Hurricane Harvey because that was something that really impacted me. I think it was something that was happening as I was actually writing my essay. So basically we were kind of displaced from our home. Uh, by the hurricane and it was just like one of the most eventful things that happened to me and I think it was just a good reflection of my character and the way I approached difficulty in writing that essay because it was just me real time processing what was going on. I wrote my common app about I had a friend who actually had a traumatic incident and that's actually what inspired me to become an EMT so I talked about you know his like injury and how that inspired me to become an EMT and my experiences in the field. I wrote about a dance class I took. I'm a generally optimistic person but it was very sad a contemporary class and they were talking about bringing out your biggest fear and your darkest feeling and I could not relate to that. I I couldn't bring it out, so I decided to not. I decided to smile and have a good time and be positive and do what felt right. It was different because the whole class was crying in tears and thinking it's just a dark zone, which yes, I get it, you need to dance it out sometimes, but I wasn't feeling it. And I used that story to show how I'm a very positive, enthusiastic, optimistic person. As an international student, what was the appeal of coming to school in America? As an international student, America just seemed have honestly the most opportunities and I think that's part of the reason why America gets so many students is just the opportunities. Basically the mythic idea of America is this like great place with a lot of money and a lot of things to do and yeah that's honestly primarily the reason that I was driven to America. Perhaps the best education in the world. In Pakistan I have friends who are also international. If not international, they are a second generation or first generation. I've always struggled being friends with American Americans, but it could also be because of my personality of clashes. But my friend group is mainly international people whom I can relate to and I've made it easier for us to be friends. My roommate is also international and I knew that it could either be in one of the good institutes in the world. So maybe that's why. Do you know a lot of international students on campus? And do you think Duke does a good job of helping them bridge their kind of like cultural gap? I, I do have a couple international friends and I think that they seem to have a really strong community here at Duke. I know they're a student group, like a living group that lives together that's comprised of mostly international students. Also, I know they also host events in the different countries that a lot of students come from. And when they're on campus, they have a lot of support. I think professors are very willing to help if necessary. And I think in general, all the students here are very welcoming and receptive to anyone of all backgrounds. So I don't think anyone that's international would feel out of place or feel like there's a big barrier. Some of my closest friends actually are international students. You know, like one of my closest friends, he's from Korea. And I have another friend who's from India, actually. So I think that Duke is a, does a good job of integrating those international students into the student life, you know, like, I really enjoy the diversity, you know, like, I enjoy learning about different perspectives around the world, you know, like, I love those different viewpoints and everything. Yeah, I think Duke does a good job of including international students. Like, I know there was an international students orientation week where Duke kind of, like, aided their transition because obviously it can be very hard to come from another country and be settling into the United States going to college here. So Duke definitely offers a good transition for them. So I definitely know a bunch of international students from the top of my head, one from Taiwan and one from El Salvador. Both amazing, spectacular people and to me it seems like they're adjusting pretty well to life here and they definitely are friends with each other. I think maybe it's a language thing a little bit, but I'm getting along with them very well. It looks like they're blending in here a lot and there's an organization for everything here. Literally, literally anything you can get help for whatever you want, but I, I, I think we're all one. All the internationals, all the Americans, we're all, we're all together, unified. If you could change one thing about our school Duke, what would it be? Probably just how bureaucratic it can be. And that's honestly the same for any university, but when you join student government, you really start to see like how many barriers there are to students doing things and how it doesn't really seem like a like student democracy. Students may have ideas, but it runs through several, several like dean, different advisors and all these people, all these higher ups. If I could change one thing, I would just make Duke easier for students to make an impact on. It would be this like more opportunities for international students after they're in college. It's a beautiful diversity outside, but after they're in college and there are breaks like spring break, winter break for many people and fall break, not everybody goes back home and could go back home. Like to go to Pakistan, it's like 
$2,500 and as well a 40 hours of travel. So I would say more programs to just make sure they're facilitated on campus. If I had to change one thing about Duke, it would be to make the students a little more relaxed because everyone's very on edge and I guess there's just always this pressure to do more with your free time and to have less time to relax and just be more productive and get more done. I think I wish people would just relax a little bit, but that's about it. I think that there's a really huge stress culture, you know, here, like a no sleep culture, you know, people will be sacrificing their sleep and really stressing themselves out over exams and stuff. So that's one thing that I would definitely change, you know, like I have friends who are always be drinking like coffees just to stay up at night, you know, like downing red eyes at Trinity Cafe. I think I would kind of alleviate some of that stress. That's one thing that I would definitely change. Given the opportunity to go through college decisions again, would you still choose Duke or would you choose a different school? I'm, I'm guessing this is assuming I'm accepted to all my schools because I've regularly said the only school I would choose over Duke is Stanford. And so I did apply to Stanford for my primary school. So if I was accepted to all my schools that I applied to, I would go to Stanford, which is like bad to say on Duke campus. But honestly, Stanford and Duke are very similar schools. The people are great. The communities are great. Really, the primary difference is just one's in North Carolina and one's in California. And for me, I think I fit more of a California life than a North Carolina life, but it has not been bad here at all. Uh-huh, 100%. I think during the college admissions process, I didn't realize I loved Duke as much as I do now, but if I went through it again, I probably would have ED'd here, been done, and been so incredibly happy. Yeah. No, I think I would choose to do it again. I'm pretty, pretty happy with life here, my friends here. I also was considering Cornell, but I'm very glad I didn't go there. I definitely choose Duke. I think it's a really great place. Amazing people here, and I think everyone can find a group that they really feel like they're a part of. Also, just again, the balance of social and academic life is just insane, and the resources are amazing. The campus is amazing. The food is amazing. Like, I really wouldn't trade it for. Me. Yes, I think I definitely would choose Duke. I think the only reservation I had in coming here is that it's so far from home, but I think that I was definitely able to find my own community here. I was able to find a home at Duke. It did take a little while, you know, like a few weeks to adjust, mm -hmm. but I think definitely after that transition was made, I was able to gain some stability and I really love it here, you know? I love the friends I've yeah. made, I love what I'm studying, and I'm just excited for the next four years. Do you have any last advice for any potential applicants? So they mentioned this in their supplemental question that they, at least for our year, they want to see the real people who are applying, so they want you to write about yourself in a real way, if I remember correctly. Really, really take advantage to, of that. Write about yourself, be honest with yourself and the admissions officers, and they'll admit you for the right reasons, because you'll find people here are so genuine and real and honestly just awesome. In your freshman year, go abroad. <laughs> like freshman for year. freshman year, summer, after oh, you're yes. done with it, Go abroad, do the Duke in programs, they're pretty cool. I only did one of mine, mm -hmm. uh, even though, because I'm on financial aid, I was allowed to do two. Okay. So I could have done both, but I, I went to Europe and I grew up as a person so much. I, yeah. I would say just like, take out time at least one summer, because you are going to do internships the rest of the summer. Yes. So maybe take out one summer to travel. I feel like traveling is so important. I think school in America is great, so definitely consider it. And I also think that you should really just find a school that you like first and foremost because that's the most important thing and I think your personal happiness is uh, really important in terms of your physical and mental health and I think it's, that's really, it's just the best thing to keep that um, in mind as you go about this process. I would think for both crowds, I think, like I said earlier, there is kind of like a stress culture over here, you know, like things can be a little bit tough because it's Duke, you know, it's one of the best universities in the United States. so. Things can be a little tough, you know, you're gonna get a lot of work and there are resources available to them, you know, like we have the Student Wellness Center and you also have, you know, like there are peers, the peer tutoring sessions that you can help, you know, there's always some help that you can have, whether you're stressed out about classes, you know, mental health issues, so just, just be aware of all the resources available here at Duke.